Howdy folks, it is Lance 90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play No Man's Sky. Can I turn you off? I don't think I can turn it off. <laughs> Probably want to put less fuel in there in the future. Alright, complete the hyperdrive. Why does this happen to the spaceship? It keeps getting crashed into the surface of the sun here. Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive installed. Craft warp fuel. Find an antimatter recipe. Auto diagnosis report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Fuel status empty. Perhaps I really find we'll find answers out there among the stars, but without warp cells, I'll be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. And scanner to antimatter. For antimatter, search for antimatter traces with the starship scanner. Perform the scan from orbit. Amount of takeoff juice. That's okay. Hold space and you just pulse jump. Staying at this other planet. Didn't really see anything change, but I think there's something behind the monolith signature. Oh, is this on the same planet? No, it's not. It's not this one. This one might be a moon, really. <laughs> A little bit of exploring on this world since it has multiple destinations for us. Skadoosh. Oh, there's usually usually combat and things like this. Oh, that was great. Ooh. A spring egg. Are those those things that attract the the sentinels if you take them? I bet they are. I wonder if you can still outsmart the the protectors by doing some weird stuff. Because it may end up having to. Can't scan anything here. Haunted terminal. Terminal online. Selecting key, decrypting. Sass. Terminal is clogged with an unnerving pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it seems to appear. It appears to function. As I push the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. And a note about getting closer. Device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It prints out the blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Take the blueprint and read the log. You'll find us when the time is right. 16, 16, 16, 16. Antimatter. A negative matter from biogenesis. That's energy potential of mounting matter. Makes it very useful. Magic metal and condensed carbon. Carbon, condensed carbon is required for antimatter. Well, we have a few options here. First things first, though, we need to make sure the ship is refueled. Usually try to put stuff like that in the ship. This is a much more normal plan. You know, it's very cold. It's got very familiar looking trees and plants and things. Oh, there's some stuff here, huh? Save and chart. So this planet might be interesting, because I think these eggs are worth a lot. We 
have to find a way to uh, survive the attacks that they cause us, but uh, if we can find a way to pull it off, it should be pretty nice. Bruising tubers. Hazardous flora. We always use more oxygen. Avasistas. Mediterranean relic. Vortex cube. I'm scanning right now. <laughs> it's all cobalt. Oh, and yeah, life support's getting pretty low. Let's try to do it this way. Okay, that is a hundred percent, so that is worth waiting till the last second on. Gonna make my way towards this cave here, because there could be interesting things in the cave. It's stable temperatures at least. Ah, no, this one's only worth sodium. Then I don't want it. I don't need to get carbon, I'm just looking at some of the stuff that this planet has to offer since it's a new planet. Or a new seems like it's a little bit more of a moon, but I don't think the game really cares that much. <laughs> I think towards, the, as far as the game's concerned, everything's a planet. Whoa. Um, are these worth a lot? Vortex cubes? They... Extremely rare and of high value. What the heck? No, oh, I can already make some of this. Only make one. Might be all we need though. I'm not close enough to the shit. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We gotta get this uh these vortex cubes out of here. I gotta create antimatter housing. Alright. Uh fix the multi-tool up with a little bit of condensed carbon. There we go. A little bit more space. I mean, I don't want as many vortex cubes as I can carry, man. Oops, wrong gun. Eh, it's a sodium. I don't want sodium. I think I need to decrease our field of view here, because, like, in this area, we're, like, way too zoomed in. So those things are very loud. I seem to remember that the warp drive can only hold one thing of antimatter at a time. This is a little annoying. Sodium. Let's see more in there, but I didn't do a really deep check because we're pretty much out of space in anyway. It doesn't sound too friendly. Oxygen. All right. There's my spaceship. Come on, scam. The other thing is, I don't know. I think these eggs are worth a ton, man. I think it causes the sentinels to arrive, but. If I could pick them and get out, that'd be amazing. Atlas pass required. Seems like it takes a long time to get to the Atlas Pass, if I remember right. I guess there's another moment where uh, being in 
Bug. That stuff. Nah, that's not gonna work. Fudge or nutter. That's okay. Alright, spaceship. That is your real name. I'm gonna fill you with that. Send that over to you. Oh, we have the ammo. Get that in the spaceship. Alright, so what? Oh, you have oxygen in you. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting that to be the thing that makes the Sentinels come. Interstellar travel in space. To access the galaxy map from the quick menu, move along specific points. Check the paths or browse your own, choose your own route. Warping requires warp fuel in your hyperdrive. So, so, blah, some systems require hyperdrive upgrades to access. Okay. We would like to go to the space station first, though, I believe. So we can sell this nonsense we're carrying around. Ooh, the asteroids. That don't make any sense. Okay. Made it back. Let's sell... I want to see how much these things are worth. These, uh, vortex heaps. Seems like the landing bay is actually less busy, though, when, uh, than it used to be. Even though they made, like, this part more interesting. Let's see what Wheatley here wants to say. Oh, uh, they're not worth as much as I thought. I was like, whoa, there was so much of this thing. No, they're... that's for 18 of them. The biggest of oofs. Biggest of oofs. I don't think there's anything on our ship to sell. Well, we do want to sell these, actually, don't we? Okay. I don't want to do it, so I think we're going to try to fire the hyperdrive here. Could try to buy the spaceship. I doubt I have enough money for that sort of thing, though, right now. It used to take a lot of money. I assume that's probably the same as it used to be. Access the galaxy map with X. Bruh. Oh, is it here? Okay, I gotta scroll. I mean, they're... Tr uh, I don't know if this is... Oh, uh... Lactic core. Is there a better way to rotate? I like the... Enemy high tech. Conflict at war. Okay, that's a little bit better. Not really. This is Vikeen. I'd like to try to stick with uh, the same race if we could. So the Gek look like uh, kind of like the pterodactyl looking picture. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I want to go towards the Galactic Core, but I want to go towards a a Gek world if I could. Like this one, possibly. Oh, this is a different warp animation, I think. I think the old warp animation is the one that it uses for the portal. Now? I don't think it used to show your ship going through it. What do we got here? Good monitoring, hyperdrive error, warp fuel depleted, searching for fuel source. I was gonna say game over. <laughs> I was about to say, is it game over? No. 
fuel source at 16, 16, 16, 16. Lighting her out. Wants us to go to that one. I kind of want to go to that one, though. Oh, that's a big planet there. Again, not really seeing any poles on these planets, which bothers me. But, uh, that's basically where we're going to call it. I'm going to go to this world and see what it looks like. But, uh, yeah, I'd say the game's definitely better than it was. But, uh, I do think it's still kind of tedious and boring. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. But, uh, it is better. I can say that much. But there's a lot of stuff that's still the same, and, you know, no man say I became synonymous with failure for a reason. It was kind of that all aspects of the game were not that great. <laughs> so yeah, they fixed some, but they kept a lot of the other stuff, which was also not good. And then for me, it's kind of the science stuff is kind of what bothers me. It's like, these plants are way too close together and stuff, and there's not poles on the planets, and there's asteroids in the middle of nowhere. Doesn't, doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but that's okay, I, I suppose. Still waiting on uh, <laughs> Star Citizen, No Man Star Citizen, I guess, really. But uh, that's all the time we have for this series. I think this is the last episode. I could actually be wrong. There might be one more episode I need to record. If so, I'll look silly. But I hope you all enjoyed either way. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you all have a good day.